want to know what it is. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. So hey, so we're uh, today a little bit out of breath, um, but we are visiting the Buddha temples, which is about an hour and a half outside of Beijing. The weather again, obsessed with the weather. The weather still cloudy, a little bit misty, um, no blue sky, unfortunately. But yeah, so we're here, Buddha temples. Let me show you around. Hi, how are you? I got some. I got some. No, no, no. She's here. So I can just imagine how beautiful this would be with the, the blue sky in the summer. The trees fully bloomed uh, and blossom trees, rich colours, real fantastic sort of atmosphere. But it's very quiet um, at the moment. It's a Sunday morning, nine, <coughs> just gone nine, nine, nine thirty Sunday morning. So there's not a lot of people here. Wow. So let me just show you what I'm, I'm walking up to, as you can see in the background. Look at the cave where the um, where the Buddhas would would live. Um, it's quite cold, so you can imagine what life would have been like back then. But we'll have a look at the cave where the Buddhas would live, who would um, look after the spiritual place that we just shared with you there. Um, maybe give you some more information in a second. Um, but keep my my eye on the ground here because the the road is quite the pavement is quite bumpy. So we had a, a little climb up the side of the mountain there. Um, well, I say a mountain, but it's kind of a hill, but not, not a mountain as we would know it. And, and we're, we're heading to what's called the Lulu Cave, um, which is where the monks that looked after the pagoda farm um, would live. Lulu Cave was the place where the, the, the monks who practiced Buddhism in this part of Beijing, or part of China, they would live in the caves that I'm about to share with you. It's known as the Lulu Cave, because um, it's a nickname given by the locals, which is it literally means piled up caves, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so we're heading to the sea, the piled up caves, where the, the monks would live. Um, awesome.
So this is a, one of the caves that the monks would live in, who would be looking after the spiritual area here. I um, have to say, they would need to be very, very dedicated to to live comfortably here. It's it's um, quite cold, damp, um, but if it's your spiritual home, then I can understand that you would have such a deep, deep passion for looking after it. So it's been a little bit of a walk up the hill, and you'll see behind me as we go under this, um, one of the ancient Buddha stones. You'll see the contrast changing. But yeah, really interesting, fantastic sort of place to come see. Excuse me, I'm out of breath, but there have been quite a few really steep stairs, almost like the Great Wall of China level of stairs. If you ever get to the Great Wall of China, the stairs are just massive, huge, really steep. But um, so here we are um, in the ancient rock, um, Buddha rock, and also where the Buddhists used to live. It's a really interesting morning so far. Um, and uh, yeah, really contrasting to the hustle bustle of Beijing. So we're still climbing, believe it or not, but this is the one of the ancient caves where the Buddhas would live. But we still need to go up further. So here we go, more stairs. <laughs> So we eventually got to the top and there was a lot of rocks um, and more rocks. So somewhere within all the rocks that we saw, there was um, the ancient Buddha rock, I think. So excuse my ignorance, but the, there is a lot of rocks and lots of caves. Hence why I think they called it piled up caves, Lulu caves. Um, but at the moment we're going to head back down. Decisions, decisions. Lots of different places to go and see, and it looks like I've come round in a circle. Now I need to find a way to go. Look down is that direction, I think. I want to see how steep these stairs are, and I'm not going to try and video uh, as I go down because they are really, really steep stairs. Not, so, not just steep, but each step in some cases are, are about one foot high Whew, so we are back back in the terra firma after climbing up the mountain uh, and having a look at the buddhist caves uh, i think when i share the information with you you'll see that it's quite a spiritual place to see really pretty cool um i have to say um to think that there was monks living here many many years ago different weathers, different terrains, and their spiritual calling was to look after the the pagodas, uh, which you see here, and also study their spiritual material. So really, really inspiring, and, uh, and I'm super glad that I came here. Mm. 